Well, it's me, random breakout, millennial tree season, you know, the usual drill. Let's hope we get good. Oh, come on, man. This is the same thing as last time. Um, you know what, let's just go. Let's just go for a bit. Yes! no hesitation right there. <laughs> I'm crying. It's been so long since I've had this kind of luck. <laughs> huh? Portable magnetic generator. A gift? Good for cookies and cookie board. Oh! Mini magnetic effect. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Ion. Let's go. I mean, they took off the the super OP like buffs this season. So right now, depending on this map, uh, I would say the legendary buff that give you about one million for each giant bear jelly collector is honestly the best one. I mean, if you look at the leaderboard, you can also see all the people there. I have at least some form of this buff or so. I mean, I think it's a bit unfortunate they took away like that super fun OP buff from the last season. I mean, I get why, but still. It's kind of fun, you know, like... You just get insanely high scores. For no reason. Though it did mean like once you got that certain buff, right? It was basically a... Uh, one hit KO for you. Definitely win. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Get those sweet, sweet points. <laughs> I wonder if I should be worried. If Karma is gonna hit me tomorrow, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and discover that. But my phone exploded during the night or something. I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised if that happened. No, I mean, it's never good to <laughs> have huge amounts of luck for no reason at all. Because it kind of feels like there's something ominous going to happen, you know? I mean, it's just a little habit of mine, thing like that. I mean, it used to be like a lot worse last time, you know, I did like... Lock my bathroom door and then tie stuff and stack stuff in front of it because I was afraid something was gonna get in. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit <laughs> crazy person kind of stuff. Look, man, I don't go, I don't be all crazy in some kind of way. Like, even the most normal person has got to have some sort of insanity in there, okay. Alright! Oh, number one! Oh. Alright. One, two, yes. I'm first for once. I'm first. <laughs> Get this. Sounds of crying. From a dude who has never had this kind of luck before. Oh. My dear lord. Please. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my god. Oh my god. <coughs> okay, I, I need to stop. If I continue doing this, I'll start hyperventilating or something. That's not right. It's like you just know your luck's been bad. But when something like this happens, you start like unironically crying. <laughs> I mean, I'm still in a bit of disbelief. And why is it that all this lucky stuff only happens during my recording? Maybe it's my lucky charm or something? You know? Maybe the content gods have blessed me during this unfortunate time, but... I guess we'll never know. Look at that legendary treasure. Sweet, sweet points. 
I love it. So juicy. An extra few million couldn't hurt. Bum bum. There we go. Double jump. Do you guys have a favorite cookie? Mine is Lotus Dragon. I mean, I find them like very, very elegant, you know. I mean, I've seen it before. <laughs> but I really like them. Apparently, I watched the new update trailer, and they said they're gonna be holding this contest for cookies. Um, next update, like a popularity contest, you know. And the cookies that get the most votes will get a costume in the early updates of 2023 or something other. I mean, I've heard of people. I've heard some people say it's kind of weird because you know, legendaries and epics. It's it's not gonna go well. Like legendaries always win. Last year was a costume event. Sea Fairy had her multiple costumes win also. So there's that. And me personally, I honestly hope that Lotus Dragon wins, but it's a pretty far fetched one. I'll be telling you. I mean, and Timekeeper and Millennial Tree seem to also be able to take part in this competition, which is... Hmm... I mean, they already have legendary costumes, you know, right? Why do they need more? But, I guess so. Boing, just bounce on trampoline, make sure I don't get hit, and there we go. You know, they say Lotus... Lotus actually symbolize, um, what was it? Purity? And rebirth, if I'm not wrong. I don't know, man. I searched up like how to make Lotus origami one day and I did it. Not very well, mind you. I did make it with also scrap paper. And it ended up like just tearing to pieces. Very unfortunately. But that's life for you, I guess. One, two, there we go. First place. First place. Tonight, I'm gonna have a nightmare. And tomorrow, I'm gonna break my leg. Because there's no way I have this sort of luck. And that no repercussions come from it. Um, sure. Why not? Yellow bear. Buffs are actually pretty good in this map. Never seen a cookie so fast. Mm, bear jelly, so ah, destruction points. I would say in the tier list of buffs that energy can give you, energy is the first one. After energy, it would probably be mm, what's that thing again? Ah, destruction points. And after destruction points, would probably be bear jellies, and then. All jellies and then uh, rainbow bear jellies and then shield. Like, oh no, speed is also something. Like, oops, forgot that. Sorry. I think speed is actually quite high with destruction points. It's pretty good, you know. Because Millennial Tree's buffs are basically like a lesser version of an epic buff. So, I mean, out of all of those, uh, the speed is actually quite an outlier. Since he actually gives you a 10% speed buff and doesn't like reduce it to 8% or anything like he does with the bear jellies. The original bear jelly buff is 20,000 points. But the one he gives you is 12,000. So yeah, pretty big reduction there. And I wish he had like Milk's costume. I mean he was meta for a few months after what after the, the Mr. Bones update. Ah, Dr. Bones update. But then after that, they just tried- It's like the devs purposely trying to cancel him out from the meta or something. Because they introduced so many buffs. There's so many like... Kinda... Relay type cookies after that. Now it kinda just became obsolete. It's like they were just trying to run him out of the meta, I mean. Just stick him out the door. And be gone with him. Perhaps because they didn't like his things. A sim for Dark Choker. You know, one thing I find interesting about the relationship charts is honestly that Like, Milk like, treats basically the Dark Choker as his like, god or something, you know He worships him, he goes around everywhere spreading the word of the grand and generous magnificent 
<coughs> Magnificent Dark Choco that can defeat anybody and everybody. Unfortunately enough for this poor dude over here, um, it seems that his feelings are not reciprocated. Like nowhere does milk appear in any of Dark Choco's relationship charts. Which is kind of funny and kind of sad at the same time. But you gotta know, huh? That's how it is. You may buy, like, 16 albums for your idol. And go homeless for your idol. But your idol's never gonna know. Very sad. You see, this is such an OP buff. Like, I'm still at number one somehow. And look, okay, I've played this map enough times to know how hard it is to get there. Oh! HP, please! Please! Oh. Damn it. Okay. Almost got his skill activation there. Uh. Wow! <gasps> oh, okay. This works too. Good treasures. These are her combi treasures too, you know. If I'm not wrong, I remember that Blackberry was actually one of my first cookies in Orphan Break. Like one of my highest level cookies when I first got into Orphan Break. And then I just like, you know, grinded her trail so much. I remember playing until she was like out of stamina. And until like midnight or something. You know how it's like, uh, the gaming mania. You know, you just get into a game and then you go crazy over it. For like a week or so and then you spend all your waking hours on it then you search up like all the game guides online and all the lore and all the f um and all the uh, um fan art and all the communities and then you join them and then a week afterwards you realize oh my god i haven't done anything this week holy moly there we go Boing. Trampoline really be helping us out there, and there we go. Because she was recently put into the meta, I mean, she's still pretty viable, you know, Blackberry. Though, I mean, originally, as a cookie herself, she wasn't too bad, to be honest. In the event of, I think, Labyrinth, Labyrinth of Glass or Wizards or whatever, last year, she was one of like the top ranked combis for one of the maps. I think the jumping one. Oh, that one was horrible, man. Like, my fingers hurt so much. And it didn't help that, like, the people with emulators or on computers could basically just break the system. Wow, there are lots of magic cubes there. Okay, anyways. So, they, like, they basically just break the system so much that the developers had to come in and say, you know, stop it, you know? So they just nerfed the whole buff and everything. And it was kind of sad. Because for me, you know, I mean, I use my phone. And after the whole nerf was applied, I wasn't able to use and get like a high score anymore compared to my first time. So it's a bit unfortunate, you know, that these things do happen for the sake of balance. That reminds me. Millennial Tree. I'm still not happy about his update. Thank you very much. Okay. Like, I'm never gonna shut up about the magic lab. Uh, okay. I am never going to shut up about the magic laboratory. Ever. Okay. Mark my words. Never. Like, come on, man. You didn't even mention it in the new update reveal. Madam over here has a legendary treasure, but um, let's try to take our chances. There we go. Ah, and then she again. Alright, there we go. Sugar glass. I wonder how sugar glass would taste like. Maybe like one of those like kind of fragile. And brittle jellies. Not jellies, sorry. Like, what do you call those things again? Those little treats you eat. I remember there's that sort of thing called. Was it Dalgona? In like. Korea or something? I don't know, I never watched Squid Game. But I know there's Dalgona in there. 
You know you said that Bernie's Squid Game was supposed to be a sort of commentary on capitalism. Kinda makes me wish I watched it now, but like, oh well. A broke person's always going to be a broke person. I mean, I could pirate it, but hmm. I think I'm just too lazy though. I really don't have any. Okay, I know this sounds really bad, but like, and it is so. I'm not sure if that I have that much. Uh, what do you call it? A moral repulsion towards pirating and illegal streaming. So. <laughs> Oh well. Who's the leading moral authority in my life? I've got no idea. Probably like freaking characters in novels or something. Like my mom used to tell me. I remember not used to, but I remember she told me this thing when I was super young. And I was just kid, I think, huh, empathy is the most important thing about being a human being. Yep, yep, yep. I think she forgot those words of hers, you know. Or maybe not. She's a cool person. Just a bit hard-headed at times. Alright. Oh, let's hope her magic candy activates. Come on, man. Can do it. Yes, there we go. One, two. There we go. Oh. Oh, I forgot she had the revival. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm so stupid. Ah. Oh. Who doesn't know that I'm stupid, man? Oh, come on, how did I forget this? But alright. There we go, Mrs. Sugar Glass. Let's fill up your little mirror. I've never actually done any of those, like, painted, stained out books before, you know? It's kind of like those you see on, like, YouTube or something. Where, like, the back side just seems to not super messy, but the in front is, like, done by, like, by a professional. So it's really cool. I imagine you have to use like specialized paint for that kind of thing, so it's probably quite expensive. Number one. Don't we just love the number one? Please pray for me. Pray that I do not magically disappear from the face of the earth tomorrow. Or like my ceiling won't collapse. Mmm, paprika. 10% speed. Let's just hope that like ceiling doesn't collapse in on my head while I'm sleeping tomorrow. There's always a price to this kind of luck. And no, I am not superstitious, thank you very much. It's just called being paranoid. Is it paranoia? I don't know man. I feel like paranoia is something else. Paranoia is like going to the bathroom, the shower, and then tying like hangers and clothing and stacking up stuff in front of the door because you feel like something's gonna get you. I think that's paranoia. It's probably not normal. But the phase of my life is gone and over now. And the past is the past. Bygones be bygones, aren't they? One, two, three. Mm, one. Ah! I missed that. Okay, let's try again. My ghost is pretty cute if you think about it. I quite like her ghost form. She's very fluffy and round. Just my type. Though I do have to wonder how. Right. Black garlic? What's it? Yeah. Black garlic didn't notice that white ghost was, uh. Well, ghost early on. I mean, well, but she did meet her only at the rooftop, man. She knew that White Ghost was a senior, but not specifically where. Hmm. That's interesting. Actually, yeah, you know what? Never mind. That makes sense, no? I guess it's kind of plausible that Black Garlic didn't discover that White Ghost was a ghost all along, so. It do be what it is. But I guess I would find it weird, you know? It's like, you can only see this certain friend of yours during like lunchtime or after school. 
and it's always on the rooftop, and nobody else you know, right? Well, knows to see me, and you don't know specifically what class she is from. But I'm surprised they have a rooftop for you know? I kind of want to know what it feels like to have like a rooftop in the school that you can just go to. Oh, you kind of see that a lot in like, Korean and Japanese media. I mean, me personally, in my country, we don't have rooftops. The closest thing we have is like, I don't know, the HDB? Actually, no. We just don't have rooftops at all. So it's always been like a pretty foreign concept to me, you know, rooftops and everything. I mean, I don't really get it, like, why would you leave the rooftop, you know, open and accessible to students and, and all this sort of stuff, but, eh, whatever. I'm no school administrator. That's for sure. Hey, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Can we get ready to jump off of this? There we go. Scorer. You are the Mr. Map. Number two. And we'll be there quite soon. Probably like mix song or something. I'm such a lyricist. Ha. Huh. Okay, wait. Oh. I was hoping to get a last jump out of it. But alright. This works too. One, two, three. And three, two, one. And boom. I mean, the concept of ghost itself. I think it's pretty interesting, you know. If you really had ghosts exist in the world. Oh boy, imagine the amount of chaos. Like, like, imagine if, like, we have had, like, billions of people who died before us, didn't we? And if just half of them were people that died with regrets, don't you think there would be, like, absolute mayhem? I'm not even kidding, like. Right? Like literal ghosts will come off the woodblock. They will be living in your. They will be like living in your computers, your books, your pens, your pencils. Like even the animals, man. It's like I would say the most unrealistic thing, somehow, about like, stories featuring ghosts and whatever for me, is the fact that the world hasn't completely fallen into chaos yet. Like like how like why. Like, if ghosts existed, they'd probably like dominate the world by now, you know? Supernatural powers and all that stuff. Like, come on man, people get freaked out over like, springs moving. Imagine if like, an actual truth to life ghost, haha, <laughs> came true and started throwing, I don't know, goblets of like, hair blood or something around the place. Well, imagine all the fake shamans that would come from that, you know? Then you'll see like ads on YouTube or something. You need exorcism today? Get it from us. We are free, cheap and easy. Licensed by whatever whatever academy. Kinda like those financial gurus that you see on YouTube. Like man, what a scam. And scams they are at least. Scam, scams. Is this game a scam? I don't know. Magic Lab still is though. I will never forget the Magic Lab. Like, please, come on. Like, you know, yesterday I was watching the update preview video. And the whole time I was just like chanting, like, come on, man, come on, man. Mention the sixth update. Mention the Magic Lab. We roll it, we roll it, please. Come on, man, you can do it. CMs. But nah. What we got was a basic... Oh, we know that you guys were kind of disappointed about the 6th anniversary and we'll take note of your feedback. Cough, cough, cough. You know, I don't... I think it was more than a little bit disappointed, my mans, but... <laughs> You seriously got a wonderful delay. But like, what's in the brains of those high ups at the company? Like, are they really willing to run their main franchise of this game? 
so far into the ground for something like this just because they have kingdom now it's just sad bro there's no real love in the game if you just do that I mean I'm not even mentioning like banana trees like candy rays like holy and I've heard stories of like people who have like grinded this trail like 400 times like literally 400 times and not gotten anything at all and it's not like you can just buy his candy in the shop either so oh uh. and there's a grand champions league coming next update so that's a bit worrying too i hope they don't like pull a timekeeper or lotus or long gun dragon and start like giving us rounds with legendaries or like with millennial tree or that it just be unfair you know like only the whales would be able to win then not fair one two there we go oh i still have energy i didn't see that right? yeah my finger hurts oh my finger my thumb other than my thumb it's actually like you know the flap of skin wait did i fall through the floor wait I had a last resurrection treasure there, didn't I? Wait a moment. You know, let's try again. Well, that didn't go so well. Next combi. There we go. Hmm, birthday cake. Hmm, not a bad combination, I suppose. And this buff is actually pretty good. Let's see. 10% Oh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? <laughs> okay, let's do this I'm no veteran player, so Don't murder me over choosing this Happy birthday to you There we go Now that I think about it, I haven't like celebrated my birthday. At least in the typical way. For quite a amount of years now. I'm not forgetting my birthday <laughs> once. And then I only realized like well, it was my birthday. When like my mom came to give me a present. So I mean you know things have been a bit hectic with COVID and whatever. I guess as you grow a bit older, you also get a bit more forgetful, huh? Honestly, I wonder how it's gonna be like. Like, like a few decades from now. Assuming that my videos are still up here and archived on like YouTube. By then I'll be like, how old? Maybe I'll be like, I'm dead already, you know? Dead from what? Um, I don't know, man. I know I probably shouldn't be casting like bets on my kind of death but look man it's a human need it's a human need to talk about your impending doom and the meaning of life in places where you're not supposed to as they say humor is the best way to get rid of depression and by get rid of depression i mean make it so that you remind yourself about it every day day in and day out but you do it in a fun way, mind you. So you don't end up sopping into a corner. All depressed and melancholy. And wishing hatred upon the world. I wonder if the happy birthday song is copyrighted. Probably not, right? It would be weird. I wouldn't be surprised if like, <laughs> it actually was. So... I mean, these days, it's like... You know, if you're not careful, anything can be copyrighted. Anything can be another person's intellectual property. As far as you can tell. So you gotta be real careful about that. One, two, ah! Oh man, okay. I'll do that last jump there. But sure. Mm -hmm. 
One, two. There we go. One, two. Oh, okay. Come on, let's get through here. And one, two. There we go. Death has come for us. At long last. Alright. First place. <laughs> oh? Saving the best for last. You actually pepper cookie inside the ruins. I definitely hit jackpot. I'm going for the rare treasures first. Mmm. Ha! Huh. I hope no one's watching. Chili pepper cookies flat scene. Only epic treasures appear here. One thing I'm curious about though is like are rare treasures really all that better than Oh This is a very good buff over here but Do I do it? Do I take the risk? Uh-huh. I want it so bad. What's the knife compi? Uh -huh. You know what let's redraw. Ah Ah, I see. Well I mean Well I am going to leave that uncomfortably long silence in this video. So you know how devastated I am. I'm kidding. As long as I get first place, it doesn't really matter. Huh? I'm first place already. That's odd. Come on, man. Give me a hole to fall into. I should have just gone for alchemist. Uh, hindsight is really 2020. There you go, a little drop down to the hole and boom, fireworks. Did you know, surprisingly, cherry... Cherry bomb? Cherry bomb? Cherry bomb, okay, I'm gonna call it cherry bomb. Cherry bomb skill, it's like, it activates every certain amount of distance you go. So, if, I'm just saying, for example, you get a buff where you have like, you know, an extra 50% of speed or something, then you shouldn't be too surprised if you like, end up earning more with cherry bomb than you do with an um, epic cookie. Although, I mean, things don't seem to be looking up very much for me right now. Eek. Oh, I forgot about this whole fire rocket thing. Oh. Man, the pet's kinda irritating. Right, jump, and there we go. Treasures aren't bad though. Come on, ah! It's a few million points missed out there. Alright, I'm gonna have to redo that later. Do you like cherries? I mean, I have a, like, a neutral opinion towards them. I don't particularly like them. Nor do I like hate them. But they're not my favorite food. Hmm. I, mean, I didn't eat. I didn't even like eat cherries when I was like young, cause I didn't like dealing with the little like pits they had inside of them. I didn't like the fact that every time I ate it, I have to like chew it and then just take the pit out again and put it into like a little like, dustbin to a corner. Oh, I for do the last jump. Let's try again. And there we go. Wow. It's a 50 million point difference, huh? Retrying really does make miracles. Hmm. Nah. I mean, I just hope to get... Oh. Sure. Rebel Cookie is pretty good. As evidenced by his 90% pick rate. Have you ever read Robin Hood? I'm pretty sure I did when I was younger. Well, I just forgot most of the story. Don't look at me like that, okay? I'm. I'm. Ah. Uh, 
I was younger, I spent all my time playing. And by playing, I mean bullying people. I don't know, man. What did I do as a kid? It's kind of alien if you look back into the past now. And you see yourself. It's like... Did my younger self really do that? Why? How? Why? You know? All sorts of questions of this. And then you go like, wait a moment. Then who am I now? If I'm not the person that I think I am. You know, simple things to ask yourself in the shower. Alright, skill activation. There we go. Let's hope we get quick enough to get the big health potion on this map again. It would be nice if I could get into the leaderboards, but dreams will stay dreams, I guess. You know, that old saying, dreams are dreams because they are illusory and will never be real. Mere delusions of the fickle mind that wishes so much for a victory. Oh. Yeah, okay. That's gonna miss out on all those points there. One, two. Don't fall through the hole, and there we go. I mean, these treasures, like, a bit meh, you know. But the cookie himself is pretty good. So, I don't regret it. I think I got pretty good luck here. Luck. Um. I really don't know how, how to feel about this. It's like... Should I be glad that I got this far and I'm in first place or... Should I be like scared for my life right now? You know? Alright. Okay, let's activate his magic candy and there we go. Skill activation again. One, two. I don't think he'll be able to reach like 5 billion, but I think I'm pretty happy with this honestly. You know what they say? The happiest person is the one that seeks the least. Or something. I don't know, man. I'm no sage. One, two. Okay. 622 million. Um. Oh, it's so warm. Wait, no, I need this for the thumbnail shot. Okay. There we go. Thumbnail shot done, let's go. Yeah. Look at this guy here. How beautiful is the iron robot. <laughs> let's see what we got so we need to lead the ball. 595! Okay. This is amazing. Alright. Well, I think that's just it for today. Love ya!